Welcome back to Late Night. We're here with Hank Azaria. Now, uh, we've been talking about you. have been doing this a long time. You do not have a very to, long time. A very long time. You I'm have very a very tired. accomplished. <laughs> It's amazing that you have the energy to even be here, based uh, on is. how long you've been doing it. Yeah, let's move it along, because... <laughs> you don't have to audition anymore, but you did, and I think this is very helpful for um, actors, you had an icebreaker in the, uh, <laughs> in the audition setting. <laughs> uh, you've done your research, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it never went well, though, my icebreaker. Oh, that's good. So this is a well, cautionary like, tale. I mentioned earlier, you know, the absurdity of shooting. The whole thing is kind of crazy, and... Um, so we, often you go into auditions and they'll say, you know, there'll be the producers and the director and people and say, any questions? Do you have any questions? Meaning about the script or the character. And I would say, yeah, um, so I'm supposed to pretend I'm this guy? <laughs> <laughs> and they would look at me and they'd go, yeah, yeah. And I'd say, and you're going to point a camera at it but I'm supposed to pretend I don't notice that. <laughs> and they would go, yeah. And I'd look at them like they were insane and go, okay. <laughs> Listen, that did much better than it ever did in the room. <laughs> right, right. Well, it's nice, this is where we're completing well, the circle I, they, here. They would just, they'd look terrified and answer earnestly, yes, no, yeah. that's right, yes, yes. <laughs> and then years later, when I became a producer and auditioned a lot of people, I realized that Actors are often quite crazy. Yeah. So they right, might actually... Was, they've heard other versions of that problem. Oh, you don't know that and, uh, somebody's not having some kind of psychotic break in front <laughs> of you and need to be reminded that, yes, the camera's going to be there, yeah. What about... Uh, this is amazing. 34, uh, 34th season of The Simpsons. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean... No. We're currently... Uh, 34 is airing. We're currently making 35, making. but who's counting except who's for counting? my business manager? Right, exactly. <laughs> And now, how, how much of your time is now spent, and because, again, you do so many voices on the show. Yeah. Uh, or is it, have you become so efficient that you don't have to work uh, as many hours doing it, or is exactly as much time as... I'm going to answer as Mo, just to... <laughs> Okay, great, thank you. <laughs> just because I feel like it. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I barely work, like, three minutes. So. <laughs> you know, they show me the thing, I say the thing, and then they send the check. And... <laughs> You know. There you go. Nice and, and easy. Sometimes comic book guy gets involved and he says a few things. Thank you for acknowledging me. <laughs> uh, now, do you get a little excited when a new one comes up? When they come, I mean. It's rare. Uh, yeah, nowadays. at this point. I mean, I feel like they don't want to overwork you. There's probably some labor laws involved of getting you. <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah. Um, no, like, I, I, you know, Jim Brackmeyer is a guy that I. Uh, did on a TV show, Brock Myers, yep. I did for a while, and he's now found his way uh, into the show a little bit. Oh, they, he's found his way into that's wonderful. Yeah, I just played a, uh, some kind of a salesman, I don't remember what, I thought car salesman. <laughs> and I said, well, let's go with Jim Brackmeyer for a bit. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, but they're, all the voices are, you know, relatives or teachers, yeah. or people I grew up with. That's, I mean, at what point did everybody in your life realize, oh, no? <laughs> oh, I've had, there was a guy, I did this character on Mad About You called Nat the Dog Walker. <laughs> and he talked like this. Hey, how you doing here? What's going on? And uh, he was based on a guy I grew up with who I ran into <laughs> while the show was on. He said, hey, I saw you on Mad About You. How, how'd you think of that crazy character? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't know. I just kind of draw on the people I knew in my life. And he did not catch on there. Well, there you go. There you go. Well, it's still, uh, still a loving tribute, either way. Yeah, let's call it that. <laughs> hey, thanks for being here. It's always and such a pleasure. pleasure to see you. Thank you. Hey.